guys, 247 Tech here, and this video is all about explaining to you the thermal throttling issues about the Intel Core i9. I'll be talking about a bunch of different videos by different people. I'll be talking about my own experiences, my thoughts, and a lot of other things. Stay tuned for more information about the Intel Core i9 on the 2018 MacBook Pro. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch some more awesome tech videos in the future. Turn the clip before guys take one second out of this video to subscribe down below. Every subscriber does make a difference. And if you want to, and don't forget to check out this company which sells the best quality skins and accessories for your favorite gadget. Gadgets. There's a link in the description to the company's website. You can grab 10% off with the code shown right here, 247tech. I have also posted the code in the, in the description if you have forgotten already. Take a look at the Amazon Echo Dot skin over here, it gives a very sleek look to the gadget. There's also a huge variety of colors and finishes that you can pick your products from, including wood, carbon fiber, gloss matte, and more. Stop by the link down below and pick up an awesome product for 10% off. Well, I want to talk about my Apple Store experience. So I visited an Apple store yesterday and I went and asked them, I was looking at the MacBook Pros, I was wondering if I, want, if, I want, if I wanted to look at them, video editing, I was asking them questions and I also asked them, what, why is, or why are these MacBook Pros thermal throttling? That's a question that almost every single person has if they want to buy an i9 MacBook Pro. So what they respond was, okay, they searched it up, they looked for the video I told them, Dave 2D, and they looked at the video, they said, this is fake and this is not true. This runs at full clock speed and you can turbo clock speed it too. I didn't think that was true because um, in various different tests, this was not running that well. So the Apple Store, don't really trust them because they're trying to sell you a product. I'm going to tell you that first of all. And the clock frequency is going all over the place in his videos. So clearly there's something going wrong with the MacBook Pros. So that's my Apple Store experience from yesterday. And honestly, he was like, no, that's not true. This goes at full power. We have awesome fans inside here. But I didn't really see that to be true. Talk about Dave 2D's video too. There's a link in the description if you guys want to watch it for yourselves. And the first thing that he said was clock frequency is going all over the place in his test. There's this big spiky line as you can see right here. And that's not supposed to be there, it's supposed to be a little flatter too. And number two, the base clock Apple says is supposed to run at 2.9 gigahertz. But in typical Apple fashion, they sort of overestimate the products. And it's only running at 2.2 gigahertz for him as you can see in this picture. And number three, he also says that the MacBook Pro is not designed to cool an Intel Core i9 chip in the internals. It's just not... It doesn't have capable fans, which can supply enough power, I'd say, for the Intel Core i9. I do agree with him on this fact, too. In number four, he says render times are horrible. In this picture, <clears throat> he shows that himself. The i5, sorry, the i7 and the 15-inch 2017 got 35 minutes and 22 seconds, while the new i9 got 39 minutes and 37 seconds, a big difference, but when he put it in the freezer, it reduced over 12 minutes, only coming down to 27 minutes and 18 seconds. This clearly shows that there's something wrong with the i9's cooling system inside, and the Micro Pro is just not designed for it. What are my thoughts about it? Uh, my opinion? I think number one, the Micro Pro just can't, sorry, the Micro Pro just cannot cool the i9 chip. I don't think that a almost 3 gigahertz processor Intel Core i9 with 6 cores, it's just too much for this Mac Pro and it's just like, nah, I can't do this much. And number two, Apple is charging you way too much for a faulty chip or faulty internals. They're charging you a hefty price of $400. That's a lot and that's too much money if it's glitching out on you. You can buy a nice iPad with a keyboard, which Apple sells themselves for that price. And number three, it can't even maintain the base clock speed. Dave 2D's video was running at 2.2 gigahertz, his processor, but Apple says their base clock is 2.9 gigahertz. Next to 0.7 gigahertz, that's a big difference right there. And that's actually a little too much of a difference. And number four, it will work better on Final Cut Pro than Adobe Premiere. I do use Final Cut Pro, 
but I still think it'll throttle at max speed because I, if you edit 4K like I do, it's really using all the power that it can get. But I think it's just that the MacBook Pro just cannot handle it, guys. I don't recommend this, uh, the i9 chip. So yeah, that, those are some of my thoughts about it. And the MacBook Pro i9 chip, it's just not compatible with a MacBook Pro thin, light type of build quality and feel. Probably saying, I was looking into this, this, is, this was literally my computer until now. What are some replacements that I can get? If you're not, if you don't need macOS, um, there are some awesome Windows PCs with the Intel Core i9, such as the Aero 15X. And if you're doing Adobe Premiere on this, it's actually a really good computer. On Dave Tootie's video, he got the render speeds up to like eight, around eight minutes, as you can see right here. And you should go check that out if you want to. And but if you do need macOS, there are still some really good options out there. You can get this configuration that Apple sells with the 2.2 GHz 8750H processor. It's a little slower clock speed, but that includes. But then you've got a little, a better step up to this 2.6 GHz 8850 processor, and that gives you the best blend, I'd say, between that i7 and the i9. I think that's the best processor. And if I were to buy one, I would buy the 2.6 GHz. So those are some of the replacements I can sort of. Um, recommend you for the MacBook Pro. Hope this video clarified what the MacBook Pro 2018 Intel Core i9 chip actually does. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. Every subscriber helps, and I need all the subscribers I can get. Thanks for watching, guys. This is 24/7 Tech signing out, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.